History has endless discoveries that cannot be explained, some are so old that despite centuries having passed, science has not yet been able to explain them. Ancient ruins and mysterious archaeological sites are found around the world. But, why have we still not been able to decipher those enigmas that still remain hidden? What is buried, for example, in the ruins of ancient Greece or ancient Egypt? They probably knew things that we did not understand, and that is why they left us clues that would allow us to solve their greatest mysteries. Prepare all your investigative skills and learn the unsolved mysteries of history. And for some extra fun, find our mascot Ned, hiding throughout the video. Heraklion, the lost city of Cleopatra. Cleopatra was the last pharaoh of ancient Egypt, and her city was thought to have been lost due to rising sea levels as a result of an earthquake. Well, recently several archaeologists verified that this was the case, as they found the ruins of the city of Heraklion, off the coast of Alexandria, Egypt. Hidden underwater for at least 1,600 years, the city contains more than 20,000 objects, and relics from ancient Egypt, including statues, figures, and the ruins of a palace. This means that it will take a few years for scientists to figure out the secrets of this lost underwater city. Can there be aquatic mummies? We must wait to find out. The Kraken This mythological creature is commonly described as a giant squid emerging from the depths of the sea, attacking ships and devouring sailors. And although many consider it to be just the product of some drunken boater's imagination, a new discovery could prove its existence. Paleontologist Mark McMenamin found the remains of what appears to be a giant squid underwater. According to Mark, the bones he found were organized similarly to those of an octopus, and had traces that indicated they were deep enough in the sea. Still, studies to really support the discovery of these bones are lacking, so the existence of the Kraken remains an unsolved mystery. The Stone Head of Guatemala In the 1950s, in the jungles of Guatemala, a giant stone head was discovered. The face had unusual features, such as thin lips and a large nose, and he was looking up at the sky. According to the Guatemalan archaeologist Hector Mejia, the features that can be seen in the statue are not related to any of the pre-Hispanic civilizations that inhabited this place and that in fact it seemed to be the face of a white man. Although it has been researched for decades, we still don't know the meaning or purpose of the stone head. Even so, Hector assures that the statue was created by an extraordinary and superior civilization. With knowledge that goes beyond what is known in history. The Nazca Lines Imagine that you are flying across Peru, and when you look down, you see strange lines several meters long that seem to form strange figures in the middle of nowhere. Do you think it is the scene of a movie? Well, no. These are the famous Nazca Lines, and they are one of the great mysteries of human history. The Nazca Lines are a series of geoglyphs in the Nazca Desert Peru, and the longest is bigger than a football stadium. Some of the lines represent animals like birds, llamas and fish, while others do not represent recognizable shapes. Scientists have yet to discover the reasons why these lines were created. Although some claim they are for religious purposes. Quebec Litepe Also known as Naval Hill, this archaeological find is an ancient sanctuary that sits at the top of a mountain range in Turkey. According to researchers who have been able to study the place, these ruins date back almost 12,000 years, which places them in a period of time before the first civilizations. The Gebekli Tepe temple is even older than Stonehenge, surpassing it by 6,000 years. The site is also quite renowned for having incredible architectural style seen in the construction of many temples, when the first civilizations began. These ruins have caused scientists to reconsider the beginning of civilization. And despite this, the function of this temple remains a mystery. Rongorongo This system of glyph systems was found on Easter Island, a territory belonging to Chile. Two dozen objects have been found with these unique inscriptions, which were written on irregular wooden boards. All tablets have a chieftain's staff, a birdman statue, and two crescent-shaped pectoral ornaments worn by the people of Easter Island. Although it has not yet been possible to decipher what these glyphs mean, scientists agree that they must be an ancient type of writing, and of which there is no record. At the same time, it is not known exactly when these tables were created. However, the oral history of the natives of Easter Island assures that they were sacred to their people. 
locating the remains of Christopher Columbus. Columbus died in 1509, and his remains continue to travel around the world. Originally they were buried in Valladolid, Spain, to be later taken to the Hispaniola Island in the Caribbean, from where they were later taken to Cuba, and again returned to Spain, specifically to the city of Seville. However, according to scientists from the Dominican Republic, the explorer's mortal remains never left the island of Hispaniola, since a box with human remains and an inscription that said, Glorious and eminent Christopher Columbus was found in a cathedral. Despite this, DNA tests have been done on the remains that are in Seville, Spain, and the results indicate that the bones may belong to the famous explorer, or at least a family member. The DNA testing is not conclusive. So the question of the true whereabouts of his skeletal remains is still a mystery. Locating the Star of Bethlehem For Christians, the appearance of the Star of Bethlehem is a faith-based event, but for scientists and non-Christians, the question of the origin of this star remains. So this star has been an unsolved mystery for more than 2,000 years. The phenomenon has been the subject of intense study for researchers, astronomers, historians and archaeologists since ancient times. Some modern scientists suggest that the star of Bethlehem was a UFO, because, according to the Bible, this celestial body could be constantly seen day and night, and did not follow a course from east to west like other stars do. However, the mystery continues, since no scientific explanations have been formulated that clearly explain the event. Different hominids use the color red. Red is perhaps the first color that humans used in abundance, and its popularity began from prehistoric times. According to various studies, our ancestors did not use red just for its vibrant hue, but came from an easy-to-find and easy-to-use natural pigment, the ochre. This pigment never faded and instead adhered easily to walls and skin, making it widely used to make cave figures or ward off mosquitoes. Ochre remained in use for a long time, including by medieval and renaissance artists. What scientists are still trying to understand is how different hominin species in different parts of the planet discovered this pigment and its uses. Dragon Skeleton In 2017, the inhabitants of the city of Zhangjiakou, China, found what appeared to be the skeleton of a dragon. The remains of the dead dragon, which measured more than the length of a semi-truck, were found in a field near the residential area of the city. For some of the villagers, this is the definitive proof that these ancestral animals actually existed. Although the origin of these bones is not known exactly, and the city of Zhangjiakou has not officially ruled on it. Many people believe that it is a farce made by a joker, because in the photos taken from the find, you can see people riding the supposed dragon skeleton, something that would not happen if the remains were real, since the Chinese consider the dragon as a symbol of power and respect. The Submerged Castle Immersed in the waters of Turkey's second largest lake in the Middle East, stands a 3,000-year-old castle. The castle is about a kilometer long, with walls up to 4 meters high and is believed to be the remains of the ancient Urartu civilization. This lost civilization once flourished in what is now known as Turkey, Iran, and Armenia. Although much of the ruins are below the lake, there are still remains that can be seen from the surface. The scientists who found these ruins have been unable to determine how deeply buried the castle walls are. So, many ancient artifacts or treasures could still be found. Turin Shroud Also known as the Holy Shroud this shroud is a linen cloth that shows the image of a man who presents physical marks and traumas typical of a crucifixion, and its origins are still disputed by scientists, theologians and historians, as some argue that the shroud is the cloth that was placed on the body of Jesus Christ at the time of his burial, and that the face that appears, is his. However, a joint study by various laboratories around the world determined that the Shroud of Turin originated in the Middle Ages, between the years 1260 and 1390, long after the existence of Jesus. Even so, this object is still surrounded by mystery and science has not yet fully explained its origin. We are undoubtedly surrounded by mysteries and we may very well never be able to solve them all. Despite that, it is also very exciting to try to solve them, as it gives us the opportunity to see things from another point of view. What do you think of the mysteries we saw in the video, do you think we can ever solve them? Thanks for watching the video and see you next time. Remember to hit the bell icon after you subscribe, 
So, you can get instant notifications for all our new videos.